I think castles are amazing because they have survived for so long. This is an excellent example of a well-preserved castle. The stone walls we see now were built in the 14th century, making it around 700 years old. But the mound, it was built, well, around 1068, making it well over 900 years old. Absolutely incredible. This is Totnes Castle in Devon. A still dominant castle right in the centre of a very well preserved historic town. This video aims to provide a brief history, context and visiting tips for Totnes Castle. I aim to visit and make short videos on many castles across the country in addition to my regular ones. So please like, subscribe and click the alert bells for future releases. Thank you for watching Eclectic Experience, change seen through images. Totnes Castle is located here in Devon, roughly midway between Plymouth and Exeter. And on this map from Historic England, this red shaded area is the castle, which is a grade one listed building and is part of a scheduled ancient monument. This map also demonstrates just how historic Totnes is. Each one of these markers represents a listed building. There are also four other scheduled monuments shaded in red. Incredible and well worth seeing. Before the Norman Conquest, there was a thriving town at Totnes. Its wealth was probably due in a large part to it being the only port on the River Dart and a key export point for tin. The Normans, the invaders, needed to keep control of the town but also didn't want to damage it too much as they wanted the revenue from it. So they built a castle, a mot or mound and a bailey or courtyard. This was a common design used by the Normans and this is actually a very well preserved example. To demonstrate, here is a scene from a notice board on the site showing how it might have been. Initially the castle would have been fortified with wood for speed of construction. The stone walls we see today came a lot later. Interestingly, the Normans built the castle over part of the town and it looks like they incorporated it into the existing defences. Though the castle did tower over the ground, as we see from this illustration on a signboard from the site. The castle also extended out into the nearby countryside. For context, and to get an idea of just how old this site is, this is a list of monarchs going from the present King Charles III all the way back to William I. The mound, with its wooden keep, was constructed just after the Norman Conquest at the time of William I or William the Conqueror, 1066. Exact dates are unknown, but the wooden building remained until the early 13th century when the first stone wall or shell keep was constructed around the time of King John of Robin Hood fame or Henry III. When the castle was significantly rebuilt in the early 14th century, it would have been around the time of Edward II. The castle dominates the town and the local area, but despite its impressive defences, was actually mainly an administrative and legal centre. In fact, there are no records of it ever being involved in combat, which could be why so much of it remains. As well as the stone keep at the top of the mound, the bailey still has a wall. And in addition, on the other side of the wall, the earthworks are still mainly intact. And you get a really good idea of the size of the castle by walking round them. The highlight of the visit though has to be a walk to the top of the keep. Once in the keep, you can go to the top of the battlements by going through this door. And then get a good look out especially over the town. So what happened to it? There are limited records, but the castle would have fallen into disrepair and then been repaired and then fallen into disrepair again 
following a cycle over many centuries. There was a report in 1538 that the walls had been well maintained, but the buildings within, all of which are now long gone, were in a state of disrepair. The castle was occupied and then deserted during the Civil War, forming no part of the conflict. The ruin after the Civil War was probably not that much different to now. It was used over the years for various activities, one including a tennis court in the Bailey, and then during World War II to house evacuees. The castle is now in the care of English heritage. The easiest way to visit it is to come to Totnes either by road or train, and then to follow the signs on foot. It is literally just off the main street called Four Street, and is approached from the aptly named Castle Street. This is an impressive 900 year old castle and a really good example of a modern bailey fortification. Totnes is itself incredible and well worth looking round with its numerous listed buildings. If I was to name just one, it would be the Guild Hall, built in 1553 and is still in use today by the Totnes Town Council. It is definitely worth visiting. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it interesting. Please like, click alerts for future releases and subscribe. Brought to you by Eclectic Experience. Change seen through images.